Hey, welcome back to the channel guys. I'm Ray Command, and thank you, thank you so much for joining me in this video. So, this video is going to be just a couple of games running on the Mr. Core for the SNES. At the time of this video, the SNES Core is only a couple of weeks old, and it's, I mean, really, really new. This is about the third or maybe fourth revision of it. And as of this revision, it's been advancing incredibly fast. For example, this revision just got support for DSP 1, 2, 3, and 4 games, support for CX4 games, support for SDD1 games, and that actually expands the library quite a bit. Many games, you know, you can you can actually play a lot of games without special chips already on Mr. and this uh, SNES core, and they play pretty well. They're not perfect, it's still a very young core, but they play very, very well for the most part. Now, S DSP games will give you things like Super Mario Kart and Pilot Wings, which are you know fairly popular games that most people want to play. Uh, CX4 games, I believe, are Mega Man 2 and 3. And SDD1 games really only had two games, which I believe are Tales of Fantasia and Street Fighter Alpha 2. In this video, you will be seeing Super Mario Kart, you'll be seeing Mega Man X3, Street Fighter Alpha 2, and just two regular games which which are Final Fight and this is actually the arcade remix hack which you're seeing on your screen currently and Secret of Mana at the end just because I love Secret of Mana and I think every video should have Secret of Mana and it's awesome music so you as you can see here Cody's walking around and it looks pretty good I, I love this arcade hack it's it's awesome you know it fixes up some of the colors on the enemies and stuff but Towards the end of the Final Fight footage, you're going to see, you know, there's a couple of filter options which are pretty amazing as well. I'm not going to run and go through all of them simply because there's just too many and, you know, you guys can see for yourselves how many there are. And I just want to give a special thanks to uh, guys like Smoke Monster, uh, Todd's Nerd Cape, and uh, Retro RGB for introducing me to the Mr. Project and you know just getting me behind this 100 percent it's about 130 bucks and what i'll do is I'll, I'll leave the links below definitely again check out the channels retro rgb smoke monster and todd's nerd cave they have a lot more information and i'll be linking the wiki below if you guys are interested in finding more about this super nintendo is not the only thing you can do it can do genesis Sega master system ColecoVision, Commodore 64 amiga a bunch of old school arcade cores and for 130 bucks around 130 bucks it I think it's a great deal it's easier to do than setting up a software emulator at least in my opinion if you can read the wiki and spend maybe 15 minutes getting it set up it's the hardest part is actually getting your, your SD card formatted to you know but other than that once you do one core the rest of them are pretty much drag and drop which is amazing so I'm going to be quiet now and let you guys enjoy the footage, listen, watch carefully, and you know, if you're very familiar with some of these games, you can see how well this core runs. Yeah! Yeah! 